Hey guys, today we're going to be making sweet potato brownies. These are gluten free and we're going to see how they taste. I've not made them before. A friend sent the recipe because she knew we had um, sweet potatoes and she wanted me to try this recipe and bring her some because she's gluten free and it's going to be chocolate brownies with sweet potatoes. Let's see what we got going on. First I'm going to be boiling some sweet potatoes. These are fresh sweet potatoes that we had in our garden that we uh, harvested last week. And if you already have sweet potatoes in jars like I do, you can open a jar. It calls for a cup of sweet potatoes. But I save my jars for later or when I'm in a big, quick, fix hurry. So I'm not in that big of a hurry today. I'm boiling some fresh sweet potatoes for a cup of sweet potatoes. My sweet potatoes are done. I've peeled them and I'm fixing to mash them up. We're going to go through the list for a minute of what's in it. Here I have some eggs that were frozen. I'm using those. I thawed them out. They're ready to go. It's three eggs. It calls for maple syrup. Here at Deep South we have cane syrup. So it calls for a quarter of a cup or more to taste and that's probably a little more to taste. Then it calls for half a cup of melted coconut. Uh, oil. So I melted half a cup of butter. Um, coconut oil is a little expensive. Butter's a little cheaper. We're going with butter instead of coconut oil tonight. Uh, a third of a cup of cocoa. A third of a cup of cocoa. There should be about that left in my cocoa can. It calls for bacon, powder, and salt. And then it calls for one cup of mashed potatoes which I use my potato masher and mash these up if you have a blender or a food processor and you want to run it through it they would be smoother but we're gonna have hand mashed potatoes we have whisk our eggs butter and syrup together cane syrup here we have our almond flour salt bacon powder and cocoa all mixed together we're gonna mix the two together and then we're adding our sweet potatoes. We have our chocolate mixture all mixed up. We've added the sweet potatoes. Now we're going to just blend this together and put it in our 9 by 9 pan and bake it at 350 for about 30 minutes. So far so good. It's looking like brownies guys. We're going to see what it tastes like. We're going to bake it for 30 minutes at 350. Our sweet potato brownie is out of the oven. We're going to let it sit and cool for a few minutes, but hey, it's looking pretty much like a brownie. We're going to cut a piece in about 30 minutes, see what it looks like. And of course, we're going to find out what it tastes like. 